So I just finished creating this blog post for Notary Coach, and I want to share it to a social media. I've already emailed it out, but now I want to share it. So I can just grab the link, either through here or through the editing portion of Kajabi, and we're just going to go into Buffer, and I've already attached his social accounts to Buffer. I've got his Twitter account, I've got a Facebook page, and I've got an Instagram. Now, again, the free version of Buffer allows you to attach three. If you wanted LinkedIn or Pinterest or something like that, you'd go to social media, manage social accounts down here, and you could add those accounts, but you'd have to pay for more. So I just recommend to my customers that you just limit yourself to three social accounts. Um, any more than that, it just kind of gets crazy. Even three is a lot. So we're going to start off by, I'm going to, I'm going to share something. So I'm just going to click right here and I'm going to share this link. Now, the great thing about buffer is it automatically shortens the link for you, which is great because when you post to Twitter, you want to have very short links. You don't have to do it that way, but that's what I do. It also draws the photo from this, um, blog post. So in my blog post, when I created it, I told in the SEO area that I wanted this image with this play button. I wanted that image to be uh, what is shared. So anytime somebody shares this. So when I add the link to buffer, it automatically just pulls that image in, which is really nice and slick. Now let's add some text to the beginning of this. So I'll put a space and uh, we can go back into Kajabi and maybe find something in his text. Today, I'm going to talk about the printer specifications that you need to keep in mind when you're buying your first printer or upgrading your printer. That sounds great. Let's do that. So we're going to put that in here right before the text. And then there's the link and it's actually all ready to go. It's going to just pull this photo when it's shared and uh, it's going to use this text, but now I'm going to turn Twitter on. So you can see it's grayed out up here because right now I'm just posting to the Facebook page. So we're going to turn Twitter on. And if I want to check it, I just click in this area right here. Now, if I had a bunch of more text, let's, let's paste more text in here. It shows it gets read, meaning because Twitter has a, that um, it prevents you from typing too many characters. It'll show you the characters that are not going to be put in there. And we don't want that. So I'm going to undo that. So fortunately my post that I put in Facebook is going to be um, perfect for Twitter too, because it's not too long. And that includes the link. Now Twitter will automatically pull this photo. So I don't need to add it to this upload photo area. And then we'll go to Instagram and we'll check that as well. Now, Instagram often will say, Hey, what photo do you want to use? Um, Instagram typically, um, it started out as a service where you just have to crop all your photos into being square, but you don't really need to do that anymore. Um, it just depends on how you want to view it. I just created this photo as a, as a, um, um, it's 16 by nine photo that I'm using. And it'll look great in people's feeds. The only time that'll look odd is if somebody goes to their actual profile and looks at their photos in um, a gallery view, then it might be a little weird. So you might want to have a separate photo for the Instagram post and upload that. But in this case, I'm not, I'm not going to be that picky. All right. I've got all of these selected up here. They're all um, selected. I've got the text in there. I've, I've double checked all of them. They all look good. Um, if we want to, we can go ahead and click that. It'll draw that photo anyway, but I'll just go ahead and click it. We're good to go. Now I could add it to the queue. The queue is just in buffer. You're allowed, you basically can choose when you want posts to go out, go out. So if I said every Tuesday at 9am, then if I clicked queue and it was, let's say Thursday, it would wait till next Tuesday before posting it. In this case, I just want to post it right now. So we're going to go ahead and share right now. And it's really pretty quick. You see up here, it says, great. All posts have been shared. Let's go double check that. So as you can see here, it's a nice uh, image right here. Uh, one of the great things about doing this method is that if you just shared a YouTube video, you wouldn't get a big thumbnail. You get a tiny little square. And the reason why is Facebook does not like YouTube. <laughs> it kind of punishes you to share YouTube links directly into Facebook. It doesn't show it off very well, but because we put this YouTube video in our blog and had this as our SEO pic picture for sharing, it's a nice big full picture in people's feed. I've got the uh, text there. It all looks really, really good. That looks good to go. If we go to Twitter, same thing. I've got it in my Twitter account. It looks even sharper in Twitter, I think. And then if we go to Instagram, it's there as well. 
So everything's looking really good. The problem with Instagram though, is it doesn't hyperlink the, the uh, links. Instagram is the one service that's really odd. They have a lot of rules about how they do things. Um, if you can, if you don't have an Instagram following, I don't suggest you necessarily start one. It is a lot of, it's a big pain in the butt, but if you already have a big following on Instagram, then definitely try to utilize that. So that's how I use buffer. Now there are a lot of other services out there. Uh, there's one called Hootsuite and, uh, there's a, if you just search for scheduling or scheduling social media posts, you'll see a ton of different services on how to do this or, you know, different companies. This is the one I like a lot and it's because it's free. And uh, as long as you only have three accounts, to me, it's a lot easier to use than a lot of the other ones. And it only takes just a couple minutes to get it set up. So that is how I schedule posts. If this video was helpful to you, will you please hit that like button and consider subscribing and sharing this with somebody that you think could benefit from this video. We love passing on solutions that make life a little more stupid easy. One more thing, we have a crash course we do very regularly and it's totally free and it's all about how to build an online course. We give a whole crash course on how we do this. If that interests you at all, that you can sign up below. There's a register button below in the comments. We would love to see you there. All right, guys, that's it for this week. We will see you on the next video.